The whole discourse where people will be like, oh, men are so sassy these days, men just want to be women these days. I feel like the underlying assumptions of that argument prove the point that the only way that patriarchy can sustain itself is by tricking men into thinking that embodying patriarchal masculinity will benefit them when it doesn't. Because the argument is like, oh, men these days aren't willing to bite the bullet and be patriarchally masculine even though it harms themselves and others. Men are being feminine these days in selfish ways because it benefits them too much. Personally, every day I am looking for new and better ways to be the sassiest man I can possibly be. Some of these memes are actually pretty helpful. Like people will be like, oh, my man is so sassy. He just did this thing. And then I'm like, oh, actually, I'm gonna write that one down. I am a soft, sassy, or feminine man, and one thing I realized a while ago is that my masculinity has nothing to do with my sexuality. And I think that's one of the biggest contributors to this idea of toxic masculinity, is defining people's sexuality for them based off the way they express themselves, or the way that we assign gender to expression. Like for instance, I will carry this bag around. Some people may call it a purse, but it is just a very convenient way for me not to carry things around my pocket anymore. Because what does carrying a purse around, getting my toes done, or taking care of myself have to do with my sexuality? Nothing. And I've never been more secure in my masculinity or sexuality, but I had to stop living up to society's definition of either. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. And I am the guy that talks too much. And in the last three, four years, five, whatever, give or take, as a generation, guys, we've been through a lot. We had to survive a pandemic, crazy elections. Uh, now we're in the middle of a recession. We had to survive multiple wars and the, the world has been crazy for the past three or four or five years. And you're sitting there thinking it can get any worse, right? But let me tell you guys, yes, it can. Actually it is. And it's about to get even worse. Guys, get ready. We are in the middle of a sassy man apocalypse. Yes. This is not a drill. This is not a prank. This is not a game, but I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's get right to it. Pop! I don't care what anybody says, but a lot of women in this generation and the ones who fit this narrative will literally tell men to be gender fluid, express yourself, wear nail polish, all this stuff. You'll make men and create men that you don't like and would never be with. And then when the men are more sassier than ever in this generation, you get upset at them painting their nails or doing certain things. And a lot of women will say, make men men again. But it's like, weren't you just encouraging men to cry all the time? Weren't you encouraging men to be vulnerable and do all this stuff? You create men you would never date, and I don't get that. But then have the nerve to complain about the way men are. Then a lot of single moms, I've seen the way y'all raise your kids. It's not every single mom, because some of y'all are different. But I've seen single moms raise their kids especially their sons into little girls and then you get mad at the way they act in this world or they're too emotional how am i wrong y'all like the only reason why i'm saying that is because right now there's a guy getting crucified on social media for being sassy these niggas need to tighten the fuck up like put your big boy pants on don't nobody want no soft ass nigga i'm gonna tell you right now and that don't mean you gotta be from the trenches that don't mean you gotta be in the streets or whatever I need me a man who can make me feel secure in my femininity. I want to feel like I could surrender myself to you. Like you could take full sense of dominancy and I could just fall back and be a pretty bitch. And before we get into the reaction, let me give you a quick background information. You wonder what in God's earth is a goddamn sassy man. Uh, 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 I can't even pronounce that apocalypse. Um, so according to NBC news, go figure sassy men have taken over TikTok. And they're trying to help combat toxic masculinity. At the time when the hyper masculinity influences reign, creators like Prayag Mishra, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, are encouraging flamboyant self expression and inclusivity of men. <laughs> uh, let me stop playing. And this is the sassy boy right here. This right here is uh, Andrew Tate of the Sassy Man. And if you don't believe this boy is sassy, let me show you. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. We in for a treat. This man keeps popping up on my For You page. Have you ever thought 
Have you ever thought that maybe it's because I'm for you? Has that ever crossed your mind that maybe I'm just for you? How much longer is it going to take, Pookie? Do I have to make you laugh even more, Pookie? How many more jokes do I have to tell you, Pookie? What do I have to do to earn your approval, Pookie? Text me back, Pookie. If the world doesn't like you, don't change yourself. Change the world. Right? Don't change yourself. Change the world. If the world doesn't like you, don't change the world. Change yourself. Right, 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 right. This is actually how I flirt. Why do you look so good? You're actually so annoying. You're so annoying. How's work? When am I gonna see you? Never. All right, fine. I don't have to see you ever. It's fine. My type is weird. You know what I mean? Like I, I like them a little bit weird. But don't you ever think that you could? Don't you ever think that you could out weird me? will never be able to outweird me there's literally nothing you could do to outweird me i promise you that that's we just hit 150,000 followers in the span of a few days and i'm starting to wonder now you like me you like me i'm growing on you i'm growing on you yeah you know i couldn't forget about you though take a bite you first eat 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 Top three nicknames you could call me. Number one, Big Pookie. Number two, Pray Pray. Number three, Girl Dinner. <laughs> I just want to say for the people who comment Girl Dinner, I love the way you think. That's that's fire. That's so fire. Last but not least, Pookie. Okay? There's Pookie. Then there's Pookie Bear. And then there's Pookie. Okay? The sun's the sun's everywhere, Pookie. Okay? You will never catch me with an iced coffee. It's always cold coffee. There's a difference. Cold coffees are just cold beverages. They don't have ice in them. Iced coffees get colder as you drink them because they have ice in them. Cold coffees get warmer as you drink them. Iced coffees are just freezing cold. I just got a haircut. You said you wanted something from Sephora, right? I can't go to Sephora? I can't. You said Aritzia, right? I can't go to Aritzia? Why, Pookie? Aritzia, right? You wanted the puffer? It's getting colder, Pookie. It's getting cold. Pookie, it's fine. I'm gonna wear my wedding ring. They know I'm married. Please, Pookie, can I go to Aritzia? <laughs> it's the way you act. It's the way you act. Guilty, guilty, guilty. I'm just trying to push it even further. I'm just trying to push it even further. Guilty, guilty. It's the way you act. It's the way you act. I'm more than this, Pookie. I'm more than... <laughs> My name's Prayag Mishra. I make educational content and poetry. Stay tuned. Why am I going on my For You page right now and seeing edits? Before it was memes, but now it's like... <laughs> no, and the comments, I seen a comment that said, Wait a minute, he kinda... Kinda what? Kinda what? You're just now realizing I'm cute? Just now realizing I'm cute? I was wearing the glasses the whole time, now you realize? Newsflash! I'm not just funny. I'm also a little cutie patoot. <laughs> <laughs> These are the most annoying things I've said as a sassy man. Video number one. Taken, if it wasn't for your attitude, we'd be celebrating our one year anniversary right now. <laughs> <laughs> to the people that are new to Pookie Nation, let me just give you a little bit of insight. This is Miley. This is Hannah. This is Miley. Hannah. When I have the shades on, I'm dancing. I'm thriving. Without the shades, I'm just with a pookie bill. <laughs> but mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. Am I a Roman Empire? Am I a Roman Empire? Am I a Roman Empire, pookie? Huh? How many times did you think about me? How many times did you think about me, pookie? <laughs> You know the guy. If this was the Roman times, we would have thrown you through the lines. Guy that says it's the way you act. It's the way you act. It's really the way you act that's the problem. That's always been the problem. It was never, literally, never the way you look. You literally act like that. It's so aggravating, so annoying, and I love you so much still, because that's what love is. That's just what love is, right, Pooka? Let me give you a little sum for those edits you've been making. I can no longer listen to Agora Hills by Doja Cat without thinking of the edits. <laughs> Kissing okay, that's where we live it. Y'all saw it.
it says hold on let me let me move myself out of the way uh but if you're wondering what it says let me move myself out of the way you see it there sassy man apocalypse cry out whatever the god i'll leave it here this was too much hold on let me get back in view uh to my audience, I want to apologize for putting you through that. That was hard to watch. This is what we at. A all a all out attack on masculinity. Being masculine is bad. Now they got a battle toxic masculinity. I guess that's this is like they respond to Andrew Tay, what they deem toxic masculinity. If you're watching, there's nothing toxic about masculinity. I don't agree with toxic masculinity. I'm not down with these sassy men. But all you women watching this, this is your fault. Then you complain why men don't step up to the play. Men are not leaders. Men don't take care of you. Men don't protect you. I can't submit to a man. You can never expect a man, a sassy man, to protect, provide, and take care of you. I'll leave it here. This was weird. The internet is getting out of control. Don't forget to like, subscribe, activate the notification bell. D let me know what you guys think. The rise of sassy men. I'm out. Peace. I don't know.